Hey Aquarius Collective, what's up y'all? Welcome to the channel. Welcome back. If you've been here before, thank you so much for joining me or joining me again. I hope you all are doing amazing, amazing, amazing. So let's go ahead and take a look at who's coming towards you in love. Okay, this could be a past person, present, future person. Um, it could be multiple people. Some people that you don't want to hear from. Somebody that you don't even know yet. Somebody that you don't know is interested. We have dice, so this could be another Aquarius. We have handcuffs. You always pull like this criminal element. Either they're in law enforcement or on the other side of it. We have ghosts, somebody that ghosted you. This person feels reckless. Oh, no. Okay, so we have this tent here. They could be homeless. We got the table. We got the soccer ball being kicked. This could be somebody that I just heard kicks you to the curb. I don't know. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, energy with the moon. Why? Why, Lord? Why? Some of y'all could have put this person out. We got alien. They could be foreign or they could be a person that you just don't feel connected to anymore. We have a gift. They could be bringing you a gift. We have these sandals here. Something could be significant about the beach. We're going on vacation with this person. I don't want to use this one. It keeps coming out. We have a hot air balloon. So this is somebody blowing hot air. I don't want this person's energy. Jesus. I need to see a new person. Show me a new person coming to you with the players. I can't focus on this past person. I can't. So we have a bear. We have a fish. And we have somebody could love salmon. Somebody could be eating salmon. We have this lightning bolt. So this could be a Scorpio, an Aries, a Pisces, I feel. This is somebody that's very nurturing and loving. They like to eat. They could be kind of big. <laughs> Tall and big. Um, yeah, this is somebody that may want to take you out. Maybe that's what the table is about. Maybe that's what the gift is about. Maybe that's what the risk taking is about. Maybe that's what the hot air balloon is about. Somebody is romantic coming towards you. Because I can't deal with this past person. I'm not going to do it. Now, if their energy comes out in the cards, I can't control that. This could be somebody who wants to take you on trips and things like that. They could be a soccer player. Somebody could play soccer. Or it could just be an athlete. Very competitive. Very athletic. And they could also be a Cancer Pisces or Scorpio. Okay. Okay, let's get into the cards. Now, your past person might come out in these cards, but, you know, I can't control that, y'all. Who's coming towards Aquarius? It feels like two people. We have unavailable. I'm currently in a relationship with the wrong person, but I will find my way to you eventually. Okay. Interesting. Okay. Who's coming towards you? We have hookup. I'm here for a good time. Good time, not a long time. It could be a Sagittarius. It could be a Libra. Could be an Aries, could be a Leo, your sister sign. Okay, so that feels like a past person. There's no way in the world that all these cards won't be about this past person. Why they be so heavy in your energy? It's like if you don't want Aquarius, why do you keep showing up in a reading? Why don't you go live your life with your other person? Nobody asked for you to come here. Okay, let's see. Give me a card about the new person, please, spirit. Okay, I recognize how special and unique you are. I love it. Okay, now, for some of you, this unavailable person could be somebody who's in a commitment right now, but they're going to recognize something about you. Maybe they're leaving another situation and you two will come together. Others of you, this is two different people. We have future. I'm thinking ahead and wondering what our relationship will be like in the future. This might be, okay, I see what Spirit is saying. Okay, so I feel like Spirit is saying here that your person, you don't know this person yet. This person is unavailable. You don't know them yet. This person is your ex. This, this player. But these two are, are somebody that knows that their, their spouse is out there. Their other half is out there. Their soulmate, their twin flame, whatever they believe in, right? And they're in another relationship right now. But what's happening is they're, they're forward thinking. They're thinking about the future. And they're like, I wonder what, who I'll end up with, who I'll marry, like, this person I'm with ain't it. It's Aquarius. It's you. So this is like a future prediction. Let's see. Show me more about this person. I like them. They feel good. This past person I don't like. I told y'all that yesterday. I mean the other day. Page of Wands. Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. Could be younger than you. Very fun. Very free-spirited. Justice card, but very fair. They could be very mature for their age if they're younger. It could be a Libra. 
They could also be having conversations about divorcing or separating from somebody right now. There could be children involved. They seem like they tell the truth. They seem like a good guy or a good woman. Yes, the Empress, Taurus, Libra energy. They could be um, even having a baby as we speak. Yeah, the Nine of Cups. So whether male or female, they could be actually expecting right now. So they might have, depending on when you meet them, um, they might have a young child. Okay. The Emperor. Wow. This is your counterpart. <laughs> but right now their focus is on something else from the past. But what's going to end up happening is this balance comes in. Some of y'all could be on an Aquarius, Pisces cusp. This could be a Taurus, Libra, Pisces, or an Aries. Whoever this person is, the love is unconditional. They're very funny. They are very funny. And they're very good at handling their business. They they are like very accountable, responsible, divine masculine. Yes, it's your person. It's your person. You two balance each other out. This could be a cancer. You might meet this person over the next two months. Let's see, when will Aquarius meet this person? So they could be going through a divorce right now, or at least talking about it. We're talking about separating. Y'all could be at a comedy club or some kind of, um, I'm about to say celebrity event. I don't know why I'm saying that, but like y'all could be out like being very social and bumping to each other. I just heard like a, a market, like an open market where a lot of people are, but you're going to stand out. So we have 10 weeks and this is after a painful ending, y'all. So you might be meeting this person literally over the next two months. 10 weeks is about two months, a little over. Could be a Gemini, could be a Cancer, could be somebody on the cusp. They definitely have had a relationship that has put them through it. So let's look at this past person real quick. I'm just going to pull four cards for them because I don't care about them. We got the Knight of Swords, Aquarius energy. Could be a child, father, or mother. Six of Swords, you're leaving them behind. They're very uncaring, very cold, very detached, very nonchalant, very unbothered, very desensitized, very much I don't care. I'm just focused on what I'm focused on. You know, mm -mm. you're leaving this trauma bond. Strong Aquarius. Some of y'all been dealing with an Aquarius. Wheel of Fortune. Yeah, it's like your spirit guys are stepping in here to bring in a faded connection with a soulmate. They could be at a distance too. Three of Pentacles. This could be somebody you work with. The new person, I mean. Could be a Capricorn or you could be on a Capricorn Aquarius cusp. So this three of pentacles shows me you've been a team player. You tried everything you could with this past person, but they were here for a good time, not a long time. They move on very quickly. They act like they don't care. They go shoot. They act real. Ugh. All the emotional ups and downs, the changes. You have graduated. You're ready for something new. So show me this new person. The four of pentacles, the seven of cups, the eight of cups, the eight of wands. So again, I do see your person coming out of another relationship. I see them leaving a situation and I see them and you quickly coming into union with each other. The Sagittarius, Capricorn, Scorpio, or Pisces. Ace of Wands. What's the Ace of Wands? Judgment. Yeah, I feel like they have ceased all physical contact with this past person. Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius. That's not what I meant to say. Why did I say that? Maybe it's a Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius. I didn't mean to say that. Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, or Scorpio here. Yeah, this person is quickly moving out of another relationship. Like, they want to move quickly. They they want to go. Like, they want out of something. And it could be this other person still trying to hold on to them, but they no longer want them. They they, they are like, mm -mm, lesson learned. They won't even sleep with them anymore. Yeah, Page of Swords. They're very guarded. They think before they act. Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. Again, I'm, again, I'm getting they could be younger than you, but they're very mature. Two of Swords in reverse, they have made a decision and they mean it. Yeah, when it comes to their ex, they're done. They could have a set of twins. Six of Cups, or it could be your twin plane, Scorpio, Libra. Could be on the Libra, Scorpio cusp. Bottom of the deck, the future is the Three of Cups. I'm telling you, you're going to be out partying. Remember I said a celebrity event? But this is like celebratory. That's what I was really trying to say, celebratory event. When you're out partying and having fun, who else pulled this energy? They said they needed to get out of the house to meet this person. I don't remember, y'all. Dang. Because that probably could be the sign. I don't know. But this is cancer energy. Yes, yeah, too, too much staying in the house. You can't, you can't meet this person in the house. You got to go outside to meet this person. Yep. Aquarius, this is you. 
being free spirited, having fun, spontaneous. Like somebody asks you, let's go out. You go and you meet somebody. Very generous, very financially stable. I feel like this person has their stuff together. The only thing that might be an issue is that they have an ex that they might have a little bit of a issue with. I'm not saying where anybody's like really, really toxic, but it could just be, you know, the regular old separation, divorce kind of mess. Okay. Let's get a piece of advice from Spirit for you. And then I'm going to look at your money. I am eager to learn and evolve through love. It says, describe the qualities you believe a loving relationship would help you develop or enhance within yourself. So that's your advice from Spirit. Okay, 1040. We're going to talk about your money. Money, 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 money. So we have detached from the situation. Archangel Michael, I ask you to use your flaming sword to cut through any attachment to fear or drama so that I may be centered in the knowingness that peace is everywhere within me and the situation. You could be going through some drama at work. You could be on a Capricorn Aquarius cusp. Spirit is telling you to stay out of it. It's ego based. Yeah, quiet retreat, the hermit. So it's time to disconnect from the outer world so that you can discern and process your true thoughts and feelings from your inner world. Create this quiet time for yourself and you'll have more clarity about what to do next. Some of y'all need to go on a vacation, even if it's just like for a day or a couple of days, maybe a staycation, even locally. Pack a small little bag and just get away. This is your energy. And this is the energy of Aquarius needing their space. Aquarius needing to just be able to try something new. Y'all know y'all are spontaneous. Y'all don't really like... I mean, y'all are fixed air, but you are also still air. And um, the fool is definitely about rebellion, revolution, changing. You know, it's forward thinking energy, future, it's futuristic. So we have a vegetarian or vegan. Um, fresh organic fruits and vegetables give you a boost of high life force energy, which elevates your spiritual frequency. So eating more greens, and this does activate your heart chakra. We have um, Take Your Power Back, Archangel Raziel. Use your God-given power and intention to manifest blessings into your life. This is the magician. As above, so below. Everything you're thinking about now, you're a conscious creator. It will come to pass. So watch your thoughts. We have music. Your connection to music is healing for yourself and others. Didn't I say somebody could be listening to music? I can't remember, y'all, if that was on the dice or not. Anyway, so we have effort number 26. So putting in the effort pays off for you when it comes to your career. But I do feel like you have to stay out of a stressful situation in your workplace. Keep your distance from it. Let other people fight amongst themselves. Yeah. It could even be friends at work that you need to just be like, look, I don't have nothing to do with that, y'all. You have to have cooth and tact. And don't be persuaded to get into crazy situations. There could be some kind of click at your job. You know, maybe they're making you feel like you don't belong. Whatever. Your spirit guides are all around you. So you will be absolutely fine. That is what I see for you. I see a lot of abundance. You got the Empress and you got the Queen of Pentacles. Both sit on their throne. Both are very abundant, nurturing, loving, prosperous beings. Okay. A lot of good news in your finances. So that could also be leveling up through a relationship. Maybe you're meeting somebody who's so financially stable, which I believe they are, that they kind of take you away. This person is going to want to take you away to the place. It's something, something, something. Y'all, what's that song? I can't think of song. I don't know the name of the song. <laughs> take me away. I can't think. You brought sunshine in my life. And I, da, da. I can't think of words. You're bringing sunshine into somebody's life. I don't know why this song. What is the, um? Oh, what is this song, y'all? I gotta look it up because y'all need to listen to this. Hold on. Oh, it's Mary J. Blige. Everything. And it says, you take me away from the pain and you bring me paradise. And when on the cloudy days, you were sunshine in my life. It never occurred to me the first time I saw your face. I would fall so deep in love that your love can't be replaced. <laughs> you are my everything. Love so good. Only you can bring. Uh, you are my everything. Okay. Well, that's the song I was hearing playing in my head. I don't know why I couldn't think of the lyrics to that song. I thought it was Carl Thomas, y'all. I was thinking about Emotional by Carl Thomas. I'm like, that ain't right. Okay, well, anyway, so she's a Capricorn. I don't know if that's significant or not. 
But those are the lyrics that played in my head. And it was just only that st that little part of the song that I heard. It's not even about like the hook, but this person could be your everything. So yeah, it, it feels like they see you and they know. It says the first time, I, well, no, it says that it didn't occur to me. The first time I saw your face, I would fall so deep in love that your love can't be replaced. It feels like y'all meet in a social setting. It feels like you're having fun. It feels like you're doing your own thing and not really thinking about love. And somebody sees you. And you two connect and you two have happily ever after. I don't know, y'all. Like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. And I will see you all the next time. Peace, Aquarius.